343 has heard our feedback and responds with some excellent changes for season two. A Halo player is fined for their tweets and a challenge slot that people paid for in season one was removed for season two. You wanna know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So community manager Unishek recently came out and talked about 343's response to the release of Season 2, saying let's talk about Season 2. For the interference event, last Spartan standing challenges should now be tracking more accurately and helping you earn your rewards. There may be a delay if you leave early, but progress should count once the match finishes in the background. To make things right, we'll be granting 5 XP boosts and 5 challenge swaps to anyone who logs in while interference is live. Next week, we'll also be reducing the difficulty of some event challenges and making it so that completing them earns you two levels on the event pass. So yeah, that means you complete one event challenge, you get two levels. So if you haven't made any progress, that means you only have to complete five challenges next week, which is awesome. That's gonna reduce a lot of stress when it comes to completing everything because the event pass for the interference event looks awesome. Plus getting the extra five XP boost and five challenge swaps is also a nice little bonus. Continuing on, Unishek also said, we've seen the feedback around changes that impacted various multiplayer jumps and campaign speedrun strategies. We're not at the point where we can promise anything yet, but want to be transparent and say that we'll be taking the feedback seriously and reviewing options internally which that's all great news to hear. A lot of people were upset with a lot of the kind of hidden changes when it came to season two, myself included. I'm really missing out on those skill jumps that were in multiplayer, helped make the movement a little bit more skillful, a little bit more uniqueness to the maps and stuff like that. Plus skill jumps have been a thing within Halo for the longest time. Usually 343 is very detailed and open when it comes to their changes to the game. I mean, like even the patch notes, we talked about this, that like they even broke down the weighting that they added to the Warhawk so the driving stability was better, which was great. Like down to the pounds, down to the Newtons and stuff like that. That's really cool to see. But then they didn't mention anything about like a lot of the campaign changes for speedrunning stuff or anything about the skill jumps being removed. Well, it sounds like some of the things might come back. I really hope the pizza jump on streets comes back as well. But the thing is just like, you would have known about not wanting needing these changes to be done if you communicated properly to the community. And now we're kind of backtracking and redoing work that wasn't needed to be done in the first place. It's just weird. Cause like 343 does such a great job communicating in one part, but then also in another part of the game, they just don't say anything and that's what kind of upset a lot of people because i guarantee you if 343 did a poll saying hey should we remove these skill jumps well, i guarantee you 90 percent of the players would say no there's a really weird choice of priorities when it came to the update for season two and our lord and savior joseph staten also I kind of echoed what unicheck said saying that hey spartans this week has been bumpy that definitely wasn't our goal we are indeed taking your feedback to heart especially regarding map jumps and speed running we're reviewing options and we'll have more news to come well like i said it's great that they're getting the feedback and they're willing to revert some changes it sounds like hopefully some of the changes that are more, more obvious that we'd like to have come back or come available Maybe the tank gun comes back, you never know. <laughs> but uh, it's just a shame they have to spend time kind of reverting changes that they spent time making in the first place. Also with season two came the jamming weapon issue. And I'm sure if you guys have been shooting the bat rifle, you've definitely have noticed this. And Unishike also provides some insights on what's going on with that and why that change happened in the first place. Saying the jamming is ha that's happening with the semi-automatic weapons, especially noted with the battle rifle, is not an intended mechanic obviously it's a bug that was introduced when addressing the rapid fire exploit we're working on a fix right now so it's great to hear that the fix is in the works right now but just like i never knew that there was like a rapid fire bug did anyone hear about this i never saw about this on twitter and i have a pretty close ear on twitter and any kind of bugs and leaks and, and you know problems that come with the game because you know, that's kind of what we do here on the channel we talk about things that are going on with halo the weapon jamming thing is like how was that not found in testing like literally everybody is experiencing this weapon jamming issue how is that not part of like the testing and uh, i don't know it just shocked me that that something like that came into the game because like when your gun doesn't fire that's a major issue when it comes to a first person shooter hopefully a fix comes around very soon yeah i tried playing rank yesterday and like yeah it's not 
directly affecting my ability to do well in the game but there are some times where you're shooting and it just nothing happens and i can make or break a gunfight it's a developing story so as soon as we get some information when that fix does go live or we have a projected date i'll let you guys know here on the channel now a prominent halo pro within the community spartan got fined by 343 for what he said about the game which i thought was kind of interesting esports news specialist jake lucky talked about this on twitter saying that halo pro spartan has been fined by hcs for following comments made about the latest game update saying it's effing unplayable among other things like trash talking involving other players which I'm not, i know trash talking is not good especially on twitter you don't want to disparage you know fellow community members but it is kind of funny. This is what Spartan said exactly, saying my gun keeps effing jamming and movement is walking. I can't turn off speed lines. Who to F approved this update? Kind of wondering the same thing there too, honestly. Then not playing this garbage until there's some sort of fix is borderline unplayable effing pathetic. Like, Spartan's not happy, man. Then, all right, I've spent too much time on this app effing with people today. 343, fix your effing game. It's unplayable. 95% of the casuals need to get a effing grip, whereas the other 5% actually have brain cells. Amber Heard hits the bed harder than Pyretic on land. Like, that was just so out of the blue random that you just will call out Pyretic like that. Like, like, dude, you can't, like, just, you can't really, like, do that, man. That's, I mean, it's kind of funny, but, like, also really mean at the same time and kind of rude. And sent, then he replied back saying, being fined, I'd like to take this moment to apologize to absolutely nobody. I stand by everything I said. And I just love how he just like firmly believes what he said. He's like, I'm going to take the L on this one. I don't care. This is what I believe in. <laughs> just like, oh my God. Like, I'm not going to like, yeah, it's not good to trash talk people and put them down like that. That's probably why he got fined. And also kind of saying that the game is effing broken and unplayable stuff like that i believe that since he is like a pro player and part of a partner team there's like a contract in his clause in his contract where it says like he can't like say like disparaging tweets about the game and stuff like that it's actually it's honestly i know it sounds bad but it's honestly like a very you know standard thing when it comes to most contracts when it comes to your job in some ways i know that's the thing within the call of duty uh community as well but also just kind of like mainly with like any kind of job that you have you can't really like go to your job right and just yell this place effing sucks i hate everybody you jim yeah you be over in accounting you're the worst goddamn accountant ever like you're gonna get fired if you do that at your work right and that's kind of like the similar idea of what's happening right here with spartan so i understand why he got fined it's funny, but also mean at the same time, so it's probably the right move HCS did. In some Xbox gaming news, we have an update when it comes to Fortnite and xCloud, it looks like. Satya Nadell, who is the CEO of Microsoft, came out here and saying that we are partnering with Epic Games to make Fortnite available with Xbox Cloud Gaming as we build our commitment to use the power of the cloud to bring great games to more people across more devices. So now, Fortnite, coming to xCloud pretty freaking cool and for our last story here it's something about the challenge system within halo infinite so we do know that if you buy into the battle pass right you get that fourth tier which is a nice perk for buying into the game but it seems like even if you bought into the pass for season one but haven't bought the season two battle pass yet your season one fourth slot challenge slot has been removed and so you need, now you need to buy the season two battle pass to get your fourth slot back for the battle pass you already paid for with season one which yeah that's kind of some bs right there that's something that definitely needs to be fixed on 343's end because the great innovation that 343 made when it came to the battle pass system is that you can go back and continue your progress with a previous battle pass that you paid into which is a really great feature i love, love that but you if you buy into that season one battle pass you should keep your fourth slot and then only get your fourth slot for season two once you buy into it hopefully this gets some traction and it gets fixed up rather quickly because i do feel like that's really unfair to the people who paid into that battle pass i'm just afraid you'd be swept under the rug since most halo players completed their season one battle pass probably within like three or four months or so so it's not going to directly affect people who already finished the pass like months ago probably you who are watching this video you probably completed the pass months ago but for your casual player who jumps around to multiple games and will come back later on kind of thing then that's a big issue for you that's probably the majority of players honestly so if you're new to the channel and miss any content from me recently check out this place right here got a link to all my halo news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out